Hey guys, it is Walt here with the Vault Pro Scooters and today I'm gonna to be doing another custom build for you guys. I know you guys have all been asking like where I've been, especially on like Instagram and Snapchat and all my social medias, you guys are always like, when are you gonna do another custom build? Here it is today. Uh, these are the Envy Union Bars. These bars are actually pretty dope, I like them. They're pretty light, they're aluminum, so that means they are oversized on the outside and standard on the inside, so you can run different compression systems. If you wanna find all that out, you can go ahead and check our website. These are the Sacrifice Grips. Shout out to Corey Funk. He loves these grips. So I was like, I'll try them. He's the homie. So I'll put those down. This is the drone contrast double clamp. It works with oversized bars and standard bars. Root Industries, just normal headset, colorway gold. This is the Fasten Bullet IHC fork. So, you know, it runs 125s or up to 125s, I should say. Then I have the IHC shim for that. Then I got, you know, just the standard Apex grip tape, a little cutout here. Like the letters are like laser cut out. You just gotta push them out. The local kid favorites, the Root Industry hollow core wheels. If you wonder how they look on the inside, we do have a video on that and you can watch it. I actually think they're up there. They are up there. They're the ones on the left. They can't see it in the frame. Oh, you guys can't see it in the frame. That sucks. Last but not least, the deck. This is the John Marco Gatos deck. If you guys wanna know the exact specs on it, I actually did just do a deck review on it. I did it. So you gotta watch it and see me again and hear my annoying voice. Check it out. Let, let's go ahead and start building. This deck comes with a sheet of Lucky Grip Tape. So if you buy this custom build, you will be getting a sheet of Lucky Grip Tape. It's over there on the floor though, I'm not gonna have it in the video because I don't need it. Oh, no, shh, I dropped it. Your boy's a Butterfinger. Look at this is what it comes with. Alrighty guys, so I mean, I'm basically done grip taping this whole, I was gonna say whole scooter, but I mean, it's just the deck. Like this thing's so nice though, like a new phone, who this? I just gotta poke the little holes for the uh, brake bolt, bolts, or they're over there somewhere. And then I can continue on with this build and then hopefully I can get on my way to Vegas. What you got there, James? <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> I was like, what do you have there? I thought you were like opening up gum or like candy. And I was like, damn, you got gum, let me get a piece. I look up and see this little black ball and it hit me dead center. That hit me dead center. That's gonna be in the video too. I know it is. What was that? This is a wad of gorilla paint. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I finally finished uh, grip taping the deck, putting the two little holes in there, and installing the brake. I should have like said something when I was installing the brake, but I was in the zone and I'm trying to get this done for you guys and make sure we're all dialed in. <laughs> Sounds dialed to me. Kidding. But I'm gonna go ahead and install the back wheel. This fork has an integrated crown race, so all headsets at the bottom of it, that little gold ring I just dropped, it has a little slit, it's kind of like that. Usually it goes on here and then you would like press it in or push it in. This has an integrated one, therefore you don't need it. You're gonna put that set in there, the flat face, see how it's flat, flat face down with like the little like lip side going up, and that's gonna go into the deck. Just like that, that went in fairly easy, so I already like that. Two mil spacers, you don't need them, but you might, so always save those. This comes with every single headset. Normally, if you're putting together a normal scooter, you're gonna put the lip side in and the flat side up, and then you'd use this. But because it's an IHC fork, this is a lot smaller than standard forks. You don't need this either. You save it though, so you never know. It's always good to have an extra one. The fork will come with one. It's a black one. It's a lot thicker. So it like makes up for that, what's missing on that. This don't go on there yet because you can see it's still moving around. No, no, no. You put the shim on just like dirt. Uh, and then you just got to bolt it in. But I like to grease this up or add some type of grease on here just so it makes it easier to take it on and off and so it doesn't lock up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys really quick. All right, now that this is all together, it's on there spinning nice and spinny, then you can go ahead and install this big old thinger and it just slides right over. But it's kind of like tight and rubbing on here. I can already like feel it. You can see usually there's a little gap, but you don't want it when you tighten it, that will stop it from rotating. I need to grab a two mil real quick. There's my cellular device. Oh my God, I almost fell over. Here's a two mil. I was like, what the heck? Perfect. I only needed one two mil, so I can go ahead and just toss that back up there. So after the, you take, you put the grip tape on, you get all these little extra pieces that spell out Apex. I like to put them on the side just because it looks cool. Bam. 
money. Show you guys right there. All right, I guess we'll just install the clamp. That seems pretty straight to me. It's probably a little crooked. You kids would be like, it's crooked, I see it. Oh, that is so cool. It's like flush. I forgot. Root industry headsets are really like flush. So it's all just one piece. That's actually really nice. Oh, I mean, while I'm here, the front axle for the fasten fork is a size five millimeter Allen wrench, if you're like wondering. All righty guys, money and there she is. All right, let's just clean her up with this little rag just to make her look pretty. Right off the bat, like the chromes all match, even in the wheels. The golds match pretty well. And then the black, you can't go wrong with black grips and then just the standard apex grip tape. Overall, I think this thing's really nice. Enough of me, you know, chin wagging over here and just talking. Let's go drop test this and see if it's, you know, dialed. All right, guys, I hope you love the way that sounded because I know I definitely do. That thing sounded just like a basketball or golf balls or tennis balls, racket balls, paddle balls, you name it. Sounded like that. It just sounded really solid in how a scooter should sound overall. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. All of our social medias, follow me on all of my social medias, especially Snapchat. That's always like the best one to get a hold of me on and talk to me. Comment down below what you want me to do next or who here in the vault, what you wanna do next. Also, comment down if you guys think I should start vlogging. I need to know. If I get a lot of people that are like, do it, then I'll do it. But if I don't, then I don't wanna do it because I, I do wanna do it, but I don't wanna do it. I'm like up in the air. It's like every day it's like this. But all right, guys, thanks for watching again. And you guys have a good night, day, morning, whatever time it is, wherever you guys are. Bye.